Philippines. You never stop to amaze us. Yeah. Such a beautiful place. So here we are at 6 a.m. 6 6.15 actually. We woke up at 5. We are going towards the... Uh, where are we going? Mount. Not Mount. No, oh, it's a peak. Yeah. Osmana Peak. Yeah, well done. Osmana Peak and I think we're gonna do the one hour hike between Osmana Peak and Casino Peak. So let's see. Sadly, we should have left a bit earlier because now the sun's out already. Yeah, but still better than yesterday when we wanted to leave from here at 9.30. It was boiling. So if you're going, try to wake up as early as possible. Yeah. Catch you on the road. Bye. Bye. Osmania Peak is the highest point on Cebu Island with an elevation of 1,013 meters above sea level. If you are already in Malboal, you can easily reach it in 1 hour and 30 minutes by scooter. From Dalagete, on the southeastern part of the island, you can reach Osmania Peak in 30 minutes by scooter. The ride towards Osmania Peak is so lovely. A coastal drive where you are often a few meters away from the sea and you can also see the houses and people living right on the beach. Rice, two rice. Rice, one. No, one. we'll get noodles. No rice. Oh, okay. No rice, no rice. No rice, no rice. No rice, no power. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 This pork on the stick. Let me try. Not sure. Sweet. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. they put some sweet stuff on it. I wanted to try this for a few days already. It's good, it's good. And then we have uh, noodles, pancit, and some veggies. And Andrea wanted to try an egg. Although we bought some pastries before, we found this lovely carenderia, a local eatery in the mountain village, and we stopped to have breakfast local style. Soon after, we arrived to Mantalongon, a famous market town in Cebu Island. Mantalongon is known as the vegetable basket of Cebu because most of the fresh fruits and veggies in Cebu city are coming from this barangay. Here we found this amazing pineapple vendor and needless to say we stocked up well on pineapple. Guys, you have to try the Sabono pineapple, it is to die for. And so the fun begins. 
So we're you know, on a dirt road and we're gonna go on this dirt road for another five kilometers before we arrive to the starting point of the short hike to Osmania Peak. Yeah, we're two kilometers away from the starting point and we stopped to take some pictures. You can see the landscape, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so nice and it, the people are outside working the land and everything is so well taken care of, the plants, everything farming. It's really, really, really amazing. Yeah, and it's very greenish. Uh, it's a bit cloudy, hopefully uh, we're gonna make it, but... Yeah. Doesn't matter, we have the raincoats. We have us. raincoats, yeah, and we have already the experience from Mount Pinatubo. <laughs> I don't think we can get more rain than that, but yeah, never say never. Let's go. Just let me show them the flowers. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So many flowers. Yeah, the landscape is... Look here! Yeah. And this is us! This is Romaniacs! Hello! Hello! And that's the landscape. That's the sky! And that's the Filipina girls doing chismis! <laughs> oh. Hi! Hello! Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Look the cabbage. cabbage. <laughs> So we are at uh, Patin Bistro. We left our scooter here. We had a... And our helmet. It had a really, really nice girl, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. <laughs> yeah, we had a coffee here, Bruce. And we have our guide. What's your name, sir? Okay. He's going to be our guide for today. Yeah. So we have sun in front. Weather is looking good. Let's go. Yeah, so hopefully we can fly the drone. Yeah. <laughs> there are some road constructions over here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. building? Uh, one road. Road? Oh, the, like proper road, okay. This is how they grow the onions between the rocks. It's quite uh, impressive, I would say. Oh. All these flowers. I want to live here. Okay, so there they're building a, a road. This, this mountain basically is in the middle of Sebo Island and dividing east from west. Go like this. So we're crossing the other side. All right. So it's on the other side, yeah? Yeah. All righty. It's very nice to see how they grow their uh, onions, their veggies. Actually, between these rocks, there's uh, places where there's uh, compost and they grow their, their plants over here, their veggies. 
There you go. And they treat them for insects. Actually, there are a lot of mosquitoes here, so I assume there are other... That's veggies. cabbage. That's... Yeah. These are beans, I think, no? Yeah, there's beans. And I think they, they pick them up early in the morning and they go to the market where we yeah. stop for the pineapple. Yeah. There was a huge market over there. On, on the way back, we're going we're gonna to stop, we're going to go inside the market and uh, see what's happening there. When we came, we just stopped to get the pineapple and, and we wanted to get here quickly. It seems it's still cloudy, so hopefully we can fly the drone later. Yeah. We need to write the name. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are at the entering point, and today it's eighteen. Twenty. Twenty. Osmeña Bagdol. And Andrea. So much veggies. And flowers. It's like Machu Picchu. So if you forgot to bring supplies on your hike, you can buy here. No better place to be as we could wander as far as the eye can see. So yeah, this was a very short, short walk to Asmania Peak from the back door entrance. One hour and ten with me going back to pick up my yeah. keys from the scooter because I forgot them, as you've seen. And so then one more time he went back to get more water because we didn't know there's this little hut here where you can buy water. Yeah, but we are very happy now. Yeah. The views are... The skies uh, are uh, clearer than before. Yeah, we can actually see the mountains from Negros on the other side. A little bit from of the sea, you can see there yeah. a little blue. And the other side as well, we're going to show you the sea is clearing up a bit. But the hills around, well, right. they're not as round as the chocolate hills, but I think they are really spectacular. Yeah. This, this little, their shape reminds me of uh, Machu Picchu. Yeah. Right? There. Yeah, it's very peaceful here. I like it. Yeah. And, and I really like the villages on the way here and the people. They are so friendly. Yeah. As opposed to... Like, we really enjoy the Pinatubo experience, like the landscape itself and seeing some of the Aeta people. But we found that the locals around Tarlac, Capas area were not that friendly as Sebmanos, right? So yeah. yeah, maybe that's just our experience. We are definitely going back to Luzon some time later. But I think mm. it's, uh, it also depends on your mood and the state yeah. of mind you're in. So we, we just got there, we were tired, we were still super jet lagged. <laughs> Coming from London to seven hours difference. So yeah, I think we just didn't give ourselves enough time to rest. And then your vision and then the way you feel is affected as well by, by your state of mind. So yeah, now we are much more relaxed. Lo love the island, we love Cebu. And it's Friday. <laughs> and it's Friday, but we, <laughs> we are not done working yet. But still it's Friday, so yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna take some drone shots here and then hopefully we're gonna find a way to do the one hour hike to Casino Peak.
no compromise Have the things I say Multiply in the back of your brain I'm guilty and I'm wrong To the very things that I hold on to When the vanity breaks What's to prove anyway But here we are With your I think uh, now the, the view is clear, you can see 360, we have in the back Negros, no? Yeah, and that's Negros Island beautiful, right there. Beautiful, so the view. If you're feeling courageous, you just get a banca boat and you can cross over. Yeah, if or not, swim if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if not, just go down to the southern tip of Cebu at Port Liloan and then you can take a short boat ride. I think it's like 20 or 30 minutes and you will end up in Dumaguete. Ooh. Anyway, yeah? yeah, it's worth waking up for this at 4 or 5 a.m. If you can come as early as possible. But yeah, just check the weather because usually in the morning it is foggy. So even if you're going to skip the hot sun, maybe you will not have a good view. Even last when you arrived, it wasn't full 360 opening. No, it's, it's perfect. It's yeah. amazing. The green, the, the hills, everything is fantastic over here. Yeah, and I'm so jealous of these people who have houses here. I mean, of course, I'm jealous. Like, I, I, we do have our own comfort in our our lifestyle, but I think it's just so great to be able to live in this uh, green scenery. And especially because the land is, is very good for... Um, farming. Farming, yeah. <laughs> There's a gecko. Yeah, so they grow all the veggies here, so that, that's great. Between the rocks, yeah. Yeah, so they can even supply the nearby cities or maybe on the island on as well. The island, yeah. So now we're gonna. So yeah, down there we can we can see Malboy. So that's where we came from. It's crazy the colors down there. Yeah, it's beautiful. And we want to see the same view from Casino Peak. So we're gonna go down from where we left the bike because we entered from the back door. Yeah, so we accessed this peak from the back door. It even says on the little hut. So basically we're somewhere in between Osmania and Casino Peak. But if you come from the main entrance, then you can just carry on and uh, you will end up in about one hour at Casino Peak and then you will need to come back. But for us, because we're here already with the bike, so I think it's going to be a bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, colors are amazing. Yeah, it's like Caribbean or uh, or something in the, <laughs> in the Pacific. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you see the sign, so if you go to the right, you will end up at Osmania Peak. And then this way to the left. To the left? Uh, to the right, <laughs> sorry. She mentioned right here, yeah, we go to... Uh, no, our right now, but when you when you come from, from down there, this is your left. So on your left, you will go to... What's the name? Casino, Casino Peak. Peak. Casino Peak. Yeah, so if you went to Osmania already, then on your way down, instead of going to the left, backwards if you want to go to casino pick just turn right okay okay there's the little goat i love the goats here in cebu cebu is wonderful the goats are wonderful who's wonderful goats <laughs> you're a little goat The starting point for Casino Peak was the local name Lug... Luxangan. 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 Luxangan, that's the local name of Casino Peak. So we're gonna hike up there. I think it's like 15 minutes maximum. I don't think it's too much. But now she looks like this Argentinian. Yeah, the hump. Even yeah.
so we started the trek and it's like stairs so far no stairs. like stairs and we need to go over there and let's see stones. in stones but the trail it's it's not, it's not paved. like little adam speaks no 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 <laughs> it's not like uh, man-made stairs but it's like this so you can just step on the rocks yeah try to bring closed shoes don't come in flip-flops because if it's getting rainy or wet you might be in trouble so this one looks very steep but probably on the other side you have some stones or something no yeah <sighs> yeah the area is so beautiful it reminds us of Kele Valishwari in our country let's go let's go oh. <laughs> see that's why I'm wearing boots because I'm clumsy and I always do something so I don't want to break my foot again <laughs> There are a lot of butterflies and yeah. legs. So this one, we definitely feel it much, much strong because it's already one o'clock. So the sun is stronger. So it makes it difficult to hike. But let's do this. Not long left. Too hot. Oh yeah. Much better than Tasmania Peak. There you go. So here we have like a small uh, mountain ridge. Yeah. It's like mini trapak. Yeah. Yeah, it's better here because it's windy yeah. than uh, 10 meters lower where there's no wind. Woo. We made it! We made it! 17 minutes with uh, picture breaks. Yeah. But we're here. Woohoo! Oh, I got sleepy from this heat. There's oh, no, no sleeping time. It's not sleeping time. No. That's the view. I can see you coming up on the Time to go beyond Into the great unknown Go beyond, go, go beyond Into the great unknown 
is a place that can't be born out from our dreams. Come along with me into a world unknown. Colors come alive and darkness turns to light. Come and follow me into a world unknown. I can see it coming. We're on top, oh. on top of uh, Cebu. <laughs> yeah, on top of Cebu, although you might think we are somewhere in Bohol. Because on, on the other side of um, Casino Peak. You have the rounded hills like in Bohol, yeah, like chocolate yeah. hills. So this is Cebu's chocolate hills. As yeah. it's, I think it was written on the, really? the sign down. Yeah. But yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so beautiful. and Because on uh, Osmania Peak, um, they were more cone-shaped like hills, but here they are round, so they look like the chocolate hills. It's really beautiful. And now on the other side, we can see the mountains of Negros. Yeah. Let's, Although... let's go on the other side and check it out. <laughs> okay, so from here you can see the clouds are coming in again slowly, slowly. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you can see it. Over there. That's yeah. the sea. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to explore Negros as well. It's it's not that, it's more off the beaten path than Cebu and Palawan, but we, we're, we really, we'd really like to explore Negros and also Iloilo, Palpanay Island. Maybe Masbate Island if we have time later. Oh my God, we want to explore everything. It's just... It's too little time, but yeah, we're going to yeah. try to squeeze it. Yeah, in so... Our schedule. We had an absolutely amazing day. <sighs> Philippines, you never stop to amaze us. Yeah. Such a beautiful place. I mean, so many islands and so different, so different landscape. Yeah, there you go. And now, I mean, you keep seeing this online and you think, wow, it's so beautiful. But when you see it with your own eyes, I don't know, this place is like, um, I don't know, like one of these islands in the Pacific, like, I don't know, Vanuatu or whatever. <laughs> Because uh, you have, you know, these very greenish mountains, but then behind you have the turquoise water. It's, it's amazing. It's yeah. like a fairy tale. Yeah, I'm so happy we came to Cebu because, like, we wanted to come from a long time, and then we almost skipped it because we said, ah, oh, it's too popular. Everyone's there now. Let's go somewhere else. But then we said, oh, come on, let's give it a try. And yeah, we fell in love with this place. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, we we could see ourselves being here full time. <laughs> For a while. It's for yeah. a while, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a place worth to, to try to to visit and to explore the surroundings. Don't yeah, don't stay just in the city, go outside, come to yeah. visit the landscapes. Uh, it's from Marbol, yeah, you're very close to you can go to Negros as well, you can go to Sikihor. Um so you can go anywhere basically. But anywhere on Cebu Island then you have on the other side you have Bohol, or if you go up to northern Cebu you can go to Bantayan Island or Malapasco Island. So yeah, there are so many options here in Cebu, plus to mention the airport that you're one flight away to anywhere. Basically the flights are better from than those from Manila, so I think Cebu is a great place to be in. Shh, don't tell anyone, let's not overcrowd this place. 